good morning, good morning. Um, today is happy, um, happy Tuesday. It's a uh, day after Monday, three days before my, we get rest. This week is the week of young children. We celebrate God's gifts and we appreciate them. And today we're gonna be doing flower gathering. Um, usually I'm on the 740 bus in the morning. Today I decided to get on the very late bus because the Lord is leading me to speak. Um, I thank the Lord that me and my mother were in a very happy discussion about the word about how I just had to clean the house. My mom said, Julie said, did you clean the house? I said, yes. I started with the stairwell, how I couldn't stand the dust, the, the dirt, and I just started there. I said, okay, I'm not, I'm not very comfortable. I took the bleach bottle, I, I disinfected that mop, I let it ring, I walked, I mopped the stairwell, I opened those smell like bleach, but I said, at least it'll smell good. It's fucked all that nastiness, and germs, you know, kids, it's kinda, you know, it, it, germs all year round and also you gotta just make sure your house is cleansed and I was just saying Lord you are welcome into my house before thank you Lord comfort I want to let there be comfort in the spirit yesterday my mom invited me to Bible study it's been like a good month it's my third time going I think they gather every Monday from 6 30 until maybe eight o'clock it's good the fellowship day after um tuesday at my pastor's niece house she gives us dinner and i think they give her money to get the feed and she feeds her house and also it's good to just fellowship with good people and um just be comfortable it's good that the lord is with us it's good that the lord is giving us thanks and giving us daily bread and break bread with others thank you we're leading up in proverbs living up living up in Proverbs. reading up in proverbs i was saying my mother oh my face i'm breaking out yeah, I'm breaking out my face. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I was in Proverbs and I fell asleep. My mom said, you just need your body, your vessel is tired, you know? I was in and out. You know how you fall asleep, you know, and I'm writing. I said, I apologize. People are looking at me. But they continue. They know I'm tired. But the Lord, but the fact is, I like to give God his time. I like to give, I was really excited about this. I said, okay, you see, we read, and the pastor was just talking and talking. And then he split it up with an, um, great people. And um, I don't know, I was just really, really relaxed. Really relaxed. Really relaxed. teaching me to sit down and relax and that's hard because I always ask the Lord to make sure I'm busy so my mind won't wander I just you know sometimes the Lord wants your mind to be relaxed for you to sit down for you to enjoy life for you to just live the Lord is not make, making so the mindset to be just go 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 it's, it, that's why we have break time that's why we have a day a week some people work seven days a week some people get weekends off, some people get to divide it three days off, or sleep in the morning and do the night shift, you know? I was saying, Lord, I prefer to just do this in the morning and get help, because my old me, he used to be able to let me sleep in the morning, enjoy my morning, and then come into a come into agreement to come at one o'clock, and when the kids are nap time and they close, I used to say, I can close, close every day, but I'm done with that. I'm gonna roll on to something different, roll on to a new, new mission, so. I'm just excited to just speak to you guys and just let it out and say, God, be the glory. God, be your guidance. God, God is who you need to be prayed up. I did not go to sleep until like 2 o'clock in the morning, close to 3. The Lord told me, Julissa, you have two children you have not wrote about. They're going to be asking about it soon. The bus is right there. And I did that because I also I did my flower. We're having, like I said, the flower gathering for the week of young children. So I was obedient. I cleansed my house. I went to Bible study. I prayed up and I got up. And I have to go to a meeting until 8 o'clock at night. So I won't get into my house until um, at least 9 o'clock at night. My boss is giving me a ride, so that's a blessing. So I don't have to take the bus. And um, very... Um, very quiet air neighborhood where you have to like walk down and do things like that so that's my day so just be prayed up clean your house make it comfortable let your mindset be at peace and just do what god is leading you to do don't slack and just give it on to god and i'll see you guys later bye bye